Here's the hazardous weather outlook for portions of South Central Arkansas, Southwest Arkansas, North Central Louisiana, Northwest Louisiana, Southeast Oklahoma, East Texas and Northeast Texas. For today and tonight, thunderstorms are expected to develop across Oklahoma today and move southeast into the four state region late this afternoon and tonight. Strong damaging winds will be the primary threat with any storms that develop. A few isolated storms may. East Oklahoma and southwest Arkansas will see the greatest risk for any severe weather. For the period Saturday through Thursday, thunderstorm chances will continue through Sunday morning as a cold front, and a series of upper-level disturbances move across the area. Gusty winds will be the primary threat from any storms that develop. Due to the isolated nature of any severe weather, spotter activation is not anticipated today or tonight. Here is your area's open water boating forecast, broadcast at the top and bottom of the hour. Gusts may be higher. Today, a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Partly cloudy. South winds 10 to 15 miles per hour. Tonight, partly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms. South winds around 10 miles per hour. Saturday, partly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Southwest winds around 10 miles per hour. Saturday night, partly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Southwest winds around 10 miles per hour shifting to the west after midnight. Sunday, a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms in the morning. Partly cloudy. West winds around 10 miles per hour shifting to the north in the afternoon. Sunday night, partly cloudy. Northeast winds around 10 miles per hour shifting to the east after midnight. Monday, partly cloudy. Southeast winds around 10 miles per hour. Monday night, partly cloudy. Southeast winds around 10 miles per hour. Tuesday, mostly sunny. Southeast winds around 10 miles per hour. Tuesday night, mostly clear. Southeast winds around 10 miles per hour. Wednesday, mostly sunny. South winds around 10 miles per hour. Wednesday night, mostly clear. South winds around 10 miles per hour. You are listening to Weather Radio, station WXK36, broadcasting in Tyler on 162.475 MHz. Here's a look at local weather conditions as of 7 a.m. At the top of the hour, skies were partly cloudy in Tyler. The temperature was 83 degrees at the regional airport. The dew point was 73, making the relative humidity 72%. Winds were south at 10 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.95 inches and rising. In Longview, skies were partly cloudy with a temperature of 79 degrees. The dew point was 73, making the relative humidity 82%. Winds were southeast at 6 miles an hour. The pressure was 29.95 inches and rising. Once again in Tyler, it was 83 degrees with partly cloudy skies at 7 a.m. Around the local area at 7 a.m. in Taro, partly cloudy and 83. Wind south at 9 miles an hour. DFW Airport, mostly cloudy and 84. Wind south at 10 miles an hour. Paris, mostly cloudy and 73. Wind southeast at 9 miles an hour. Texarkana, partly cloudy and 71. Wind east at 3 miles an hour. Shreveport, mostly cloudy and 78 degrees. Wind southeast at 6 miles an hour. Jacksonville, mostly cloudy and 79 degrees. Wind calm. Palestine, partly sunny and 81 degrees. Wind calm. And the Corsa Canna, mostly cloudy and 82 degrees. Wind south at 8 miles an hour. Elsewhere across the four state region, Oklahoma City, mostly cloudy and 72. Little Rock, partly cloudy and 68. Jackson, Mississippi, partly cloudy and 73. Baton Rouge, partly cloudy and 81. And at Houston, mostly cloudy and 81 degrees. Now let's check on your local forecast. Today, a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms in the afternoon. Partly cloudy. Highs around 101. South winds 5 to 15 miles per hour. Heat index readings 102 to 105. Tonight, partly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the upper 70s. South winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Saturday, partly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Highs around 100. 
Southwest winds 5 to 10 miles per hour. Heat index readings 102 to 105. Saturday night, highly cloudy with a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms. Lows in the upper 70s. Southwest winds up to 5 miles per hour. Sunday, a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms in the morning. Highly cloudy. Highs around 100. Northwest winds around 5 miles per hour becoming north in the afternoon. Sunday night, highly cloudy. Lows in the mid-70s. Monday, highly cloudy. Highs around 101. Monday night, highly cloudy. Lows in the mid-70s. Tuesday, mostly sunny. Highs around 101. Tuesday night, mostly clear. Lows in the mid-70s. Wednesday, mostly sunny. Highs around 102. Wednesday night, mostly clear. Lows in the mid-70s. Thursday, mostly sunny. Highs around 102. Here's the tropical weather outlook. For the North Atlantic, Caribbean Sea and the Gulf of Mexico, an area of low pressure centered about 1175 miles east of the northern Leeward Islands, is moving west-northwestward at near 20 miles per hour. Showers and thunderstorms have become a little better organized, and environmental conditions are gradually becoming more conducive for development. This system has a medium chance, 40%, of becoming a tropical cyclone during the next 48 hours. A broad low-pressure system located about 450 miles southwest of the southern Cape Verde Islands is producing a large area of cloudiness and scattered showers. Environmental conditions are expected to gradually become more conducive for development over the next several days as it moves westward at 15 to 20 miles per hour. This system has a medium chance, 40%, of becoming a tropical cyclone during the next 48 hours. Shower activity associated with a weak low pressure system located about 160 miles west northwest of Bermuda has continued to become a little better organized. Some additional development is possible during the next day or so before this disturbance merges with the frontal system. This system has a medium chance, 30%, of becoming a tropical cyclone during the next 48 hours as it moves northeastward at 15 to 20 miles per hour. An area of disturbed weather has formed in association with a broad low pressure area about 700 miles northeast of the northern Leeward Islands. Slow development is possible during the next couple of days as the low moves rush southwestward at about 10 miles per hour. This system has a low chance, 20%, of becoming a tropical cyclone during the next 48 hours. Elsewhere, tropical cyclone formation is not expected during the next 48 hours. Here's the hazardous weather outlook for portions of south-central Arkansas, southwest Arkansas, north-central Louisiana, northwest Louisiana, southeast Oklahoma, east Texas and northeast Texas. For today and tonight, thunderstorms are expected to develop across Oklahoma today and move southeast into the four-state region late this afternoon and tonight. Strong damaging winds will be the primary threat with any storms that develop. A few isolated storms may become severe. Extreme Northeast Texas, Southeast Oklahoma, and Southwest Arkansas will see the greatest risk for any severe weather. For the period Saturday through Thursday, thunderstorm chances will continue through Sunday morning as a cold front, and a series of upper-level disturbances move across the area. Gusty winds will be the primary threat from any storms that develop. Due to the isolated nature of any severe weather, spotter activation is not anticipated today or tonight. You are listening to Weather Radio, station WXK36.